First People's Fund is the only native controlled national organization whose sole purpose is to sustain arts and culture at the community level. Artists are at the soul of First People's Fund. Helping them grow, succeed, and pass their gifts on to future generations is the heart of what we do. We take this responsibility seriously because it is an important part of ensuring that ancient traditions and diverse cultures are remembered, honored, and given the power to continue on into the future. Our ancestors lived through us who share the knowledge that they have given to us. We have a term in my language we call it wazadad. It's our true form of wealth. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with riches. It's the knowledge of the culture of our people, of our laws, of our ceremonies, of the importance of color, of the names of our ancestors back to the beginning of time. The survival of Native art and Indigenous peoples is important not only to our communities but to all. Their works are threads of richness and complexity woven into the tapestry of life and it is a living legacy that must be preserved. All of my teaching and my work I, I really do owe to others. Um, and I think that it's important that we carry on these traditions and that we not just do it for today. Today is important, but we've got to think ahead and we've got to think down the line. We have to think of those generations yet to be born and how we can keep alive this knowledge that took 10,000 or more years to get to our hands, uh, how we can keep it alive uh, on into the future. Our mission at First People's Fund is to recognize and support artists' collective spirit, which we define as that which manifests self-awareness and a sense of responsibility to sustain the cultural fabric of a community. It is that which moves each one of us to stand up and make a difference, to pass on ancestral knowledge or to simply extend a hand of generosity. We honor and celebrate these artists who personify indigenous values of generosity, wisdom, respect, integrity, strength, fortitude, and humility. Every one of us has someone in our lives, at least someone who has taught us where we come from and who we are. That is where our strength lies. That is where our future lies. I ask you to now pause and think of that person and what you were given. You were given your history, your relatives, your meaning. This is our strength, our continuity, and our connectedness to the past, the earth, and to one another. I ask you now to pause and think of that person and what you were given. You were given your history, your relatives, your meaning. This is our strength, our continuity, and our connectedness to the past, the earth, and to one another. Imagine the power if we were able to take that history and listen to those who have come before us those whose arms lift us up and whose shoulders we stand to build our nations and to create our future. They speak to us through the culture bearers who taught you as children and who live in your communities today. The dancers and singers, the beaters and the basket makers, those who honor our earth and who work in the old ways to bring our contemporary lives the wisdom and lessons of our ancestors. They have an important role to play in the building of nations.